its length, and I thought I might uh, take a few minutes of it and see if I could create a quick gorilla video for you. Um, I had a uh, post fly by in Google Plus that had some great inspirational graphics on it, and one of them kind of hit home. Um, it's a, a, a graphic of a shield with uh, two halves of the ribbon sticking out on one side. Great for sports and uh, all kinds of different awards and so on. And while I was looking at it, uh, I realized that um, if you take our model from the, um, the hockey mini project and a model from the um, basketball mini project, then you um, could build this. So anyway, I want to show you how to quickly do it. Uh, first, we'll start in Aspire, and then I'll move into, uh, into ArtCam. Um, this will be Aspire 4 and ArtCam 2012. Okay, let's do a shot. Okay, here we are in Aspire 4. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new file and um, we're just going to set the, the job up with my standard settings, which is six inches by six inches by one inch thick. Make sure your datum's in the center or put it wherever you'd like. Inches and then um, we're going to use the modeling resolution. It's just going to be standard. That's, that's great for this little demo. So we're going to select OK. And now on my desktop, I've got my banner from the hockey project saved off, and I also have the sports plaque from the basketball mini project saved off. Um, you can just drag them in off your desktop, or you can go up to File, and we can import those in using uh, Import a 3D Component. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to press F9, and we're going to center these. We can select the components and press F9, and off they go. Let's go ahead and, and select the uh, the the plaque and we're going to press the T key which will end up giving us these control points so we can size it. If we hold down the shift key we can size that to be just about the right size we need it to be. And it looks about right there. We're going to go ahead and go close. And let's flip to our 3D view and see what we have. Okay so now we've got a little bit of a problem. We've got the, the layout pretty much bang on but the the way the models are being um, dealt with is wrong and the combined modes are set up wrong. So let's click our modeling tab and at the bottom, bottom here in our component tree we've got the, uh, the banner. So let's right click on that and we're going to select the combined mode and we're going to make it merge. And we're going to right click on the sports plaque and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to set the combined mode to merge. Uh, there we go. Now at least they're being dealt with properly. They don't look right but they're they're in there properly. So what we need to do is we need to scale up the shield because the banner is in behind the shield in reality or in our reference artwork that I had found. And just for a little bit of a demo or reference, there you go. Um, so you can see the shields in the front and in the background is the uh, the ribbon. Let's slide that over here. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So let's go ahead and make that a little more accurate. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the banner and we're going to change the properties of it to be, um, we're going to change the height of it to be about a 0.15 of an inch. And that'll bring it down so it ends up being a little bit more inside the shield. You really can't tell so much, but in a second you will. And we're going to close that. And then we're going to select our sports plaque and we're going to do the same thing. And we're going to scale it up to be uh, about uh, 1.15 as well. And you'll see now it's starting to peek through the banner. Um, and then we're going to add a bit of a backing to it, or a base height, to be a 0.1. And now everything is where it should be-ish. If you look at the side of it, we're utilizing all of our Z height that we probably could, except for our banner is kind of going right through the open space in the middle of our plaque, which is what we don't want. So somehow we need to figure out how to crop the ribbon so that we end up having um, just the two tails here and the shield. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to close this uh, component properties down. I'm going to go to our 2D view just to make it a little more clear. We're going to select our um, our plaque and we are going to create an outline. So this, this tool right here called Create Vector Boundary from Selected Component. We're going to click that and it's created an outline. You can't really tell, but it's actually there. Um, if we double click on it, we can move it. So we have a little bit of a vector outline now. We'll just put that back where, where it came from. And what we're going to do is we're going to use it to crop the banner with. So if we select the banner first and we hold down our shift key and we select that outline, 
and we go up here to um, split the selected component using a vector, then what Aspire does is it breaks up the banner into two pieces. So we've got the tails and we've got the center bit. So if we go into our 3D view, we can actually turn off the center bit and we have the exact model we're looking for. So now we can go ahead and add maybe some dates to the, the tails here or we can add another piece of clip art to the center to come up with a nice looking plaque that looks much like this guy does or maybe even just some uh, v-carving in the center. So that's how we can do that in Aspire. Okay, here we are in ArtCam uh, 2012. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new model. And these are my standard settings, um, 6 inches by 6 inches. Make sure we have the units set to inches. And this is our resolution. And our pixel density is around 4 million pixels. Depending on the speed of your CPU, you might need to dial that down. But this is what I normally model at. So we're going to click OK. And ArtCam will set us up a nice workspace. For now, if we look in our 3D view, you'll see there's nothing there at all just a flat plane. If we open up our front relief here, you'll see that we have one relief layer and it's currently blank. If you select it, you'll see a little thumbnail down here. Thumbnail, excuse me, down here is blank. If you don't see the thumbnail, you can just drop it down by using that little toggle there. So what we're going to do is on my uh, desktop here, I've got the two models I'm going to use already saved out. So we've got um, the banner from the Hockey Mini project and we also have the sports plaque from the basketball mini project and we're just going to drag them in um, to our um, workspace. So let's go ahead and go to our 2D view just for a minute just so we can it's a little easier to see. So I'm going to select the outline for the sports plaque and we're going to press F9 that centers it. We're going to grab the outline for the ribbon and we're going to press F9 and that's going to center that as well. Let's flip back to our 3D view for a second. You'll see that that art cam does show us outlines in our um, in our 3D view, so we can look down on it here if we want to, straight down. Um, and that, that's fantastic. We can hide and show them if we want to. I find it easier, though, personally, to be in my 2D view um, so that I can size everything up before I commit to pasting anything. So let's press, uh, let's go to our 2D view, and we're going to press T on the keyboard, and we're going to hold down the Alt key while we drag in this sizing um, node here and we're just going to size it to be just about the, around there somewhere. Let's take a look at our 3D view. Ah, that looks perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that layout so far, but I'm not happy with the, with the scale of these things. They're not running together quite right. So what we need to do is we're going to paste those down, these pieces of clip art down, and then we can have some more um, options to getting these to getting these two pieces of clip art to work um, better with each other. So let's select the uh, clip art uh, section here and we're going to uh, select all of our clip art and then we're going to paste all of these on to dip their own individual layers. So you'll see that our cam has created two uh, layers for us, one called banner number three and one called sports plaque number one, which is handy. But you'll notice that when we scroll up here, uh, or not we scroll up, but when we twiddle up here that the um, the combined modes are wrong, so let's select the sports plaque layer and we're going to drop this down and we're going to make it emerge highest and we're going to select our banner layer and we're going to drop this down and we're going to make it emerge high as well. And that will bring it back to looking like we want it to be. So let's let's work, we're going to work mainly in our 3D view, um, which is kind of a new thing with our Cam 2012. Um, so if we go back to our um, our sports plaque. We're going to select the outline that we used to uh, that ArtCam created for us when we pasted our um, clip art down. If we press F12 on the keyboard, we're going to get our shape editor. So let's bring that up. Oh, first of all, we want to scale this. So let's go to Relief Scale, and we're going to scale this relief to be 0.15. Apply that. And then we're going to add 0.1 to the backing of this. And so what that did is it added a step here of 0.1 of an inch. It brings it up a little bit higher, which looks pretty decent, uh, except for our banner still runs through it. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to get the banner scaled so that it ends up meeting out here somewhere in this range. And then we're going to 
delete out the middle part of the banner because we don't need it anymore. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our banner layer. We can close down our shape editor for now. And we're going to go up to um, relief and we're going to go to scale. And we're going to scale it to 0.15. And I think that that's going to hit that right on the money. And it does. Look at that. Perfect. So we can close that down. We don't need that tool anymore. So now all we really want to do is with these two layers that we have set up, we just want to crop the actual ribbon. So if we select the, the banner layer and we grab the outline for the shield and we press F12 and we say a zero, then what it's going to do is it's going to crop our ribbon down. You'll see that there's a slight gap in there, so that's not going to be very great when it machines. It may not even show up when it machines, but this is how you can fix that. So let's go edit, and we're going to undo that. We're going to grab that outline vector again, and we're going to right-click on it. Let's go to our 2D view. It might be easier. Right-click on it, and we're going to ungroup it. Uh, when ArtCam creates a an outline, when it pastes... Um, in a piece of clip art, it, it groups it uh, and makes it, uh, well, it just groups it. So we, you'll see that it's, um, when you select it, it's actually purple. When I ungroup it, it, uh, it shouldn't be anymore. It should be red. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is that we're going to offset in just a hair uh, so that when we zero S rest everything, we're going to be, um, it should merge in nice and tight. So we're going to use the vector offset. We're going to bring it in a 0.1 of an inch. Just make it actually 0.05 of an inch. Uh, inwards, offset. And we're going to use this line now, this vector, to actually zero out the ribbon. So we've got that vector selected because we had it selected in our 2D view. We have the banner layer selected. So if we press F12 and we say zero, then it's going to crop the banner to be a perfect fit and marry up quite nicely with our shield. Let's hide our vectors and hide our zero plane. And now we have something that looks similar to this. And there you have it. This video has been Weekend CNC Warrior approved. Oh, man, I think it's time for bed.